Yeah, I have a confession regarding that clickbaity thumbnail. I lied. This eggnog isn't five years old. It's actually between six and seven years old. I love eggnog. Every year between Thanksgiving and New Year's, I consume my body weight in this stuff. There's something magical about the union of raw eggs, whole milk, heavy cream, sugar, and booze. <sighs> Every year I make a special batch to set aside to drink the following year because eggnog keeps. That's right, if made properly, the booze will preserve the non-alcoholic ingredients. But your mileage may vary, so this is the part of the video where I say, don't try this at home. This recipe comes from the blog of the one and only Jeffrey Morgenthaler, the motherfucking genius of all things booze. I've met Jeff. He's one of the smartest people in the biz and is a nice guy too. Jeff, thanks for your brain. Now onto the nog. For this particular nog, I used mezcal and sherry. This recipe has some minor changes from Morgenthaler's, which I'll link to below, but... You guys hear something? Nah, it's probably nothing. I would normally grate nutmeg over eggnog, but not this time. Anyway, I am a little nervous considering how old this is, but here goes. I'm kidding, I'm fine. Now, if you're wondering why anyone would want to age eggnog, well, same reason you want to age anything else. The drink changes. In the case of eggnog, the flavors get more complex and sometimes you'll get a pleasant nuttiness. Definitely taste the mezcal. The fino is barely there. This has a very long finish, and yes, it tastes incredible. Wife, you gotta try this. Which one is it? It's the, uh, the mezcal sherry one that's six years old. Whoa. No, 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 give it back. I need it. <laughs> if you've never... What? I keep these old bottles around and crack them open once a year, but I forgot last year, so I actually haven't tried this in about a year and a half. But yeah, this is real good. If you've never made eggnog from scratch, you have no idea what you're missing. I'm serious. Head over to Morgenthaler's blog, check out the recipe, and come December make a batch of this stuff for your next gathering. Because this is some good drinking. Smash like if you want to drink six-year-old eggnog. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, all the advice professionals, and no matter what you do, don't ever buy store-bought eggnog. Cheers.